Hello, I'm Kay. Next tutorial. This time I'm dressed up as a more hyper realistic version of Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now a few of you guys out there might actually remember that I did a Jack Skellington makeup nearly two years ago, but it was more of the cartoony style version from the film. So I'll pop that link on the screen here if you'd like to see that video, if you'd like to do a more cartoony Jack Skellington. But I thought, I think I might do a more realistic skeleton makeup. Yeah, a more realistic Jack. I mean, why not? <laughs> it's a laugh. Um, obviously you could don't have to have the Jack Skellington get up, you could just wear anything really and have it as a generic skeleton makeup. But, I know, I made it with Jack Skellington in mind, so I hope it fits the costume and I hope it's more of a fun twist on the character. So yeah, if you'd like to learn how to recreate this makeup, stay tuned. So I'm going to get started by applying a latex ball cap and block out both my eyebrows. But when I apply my ball cap, I'm going to go over my ears because ears would probably ruin this look. Um, so I'll pop links on the screen here and here to the two tutorials where I teach you guys how to do both those things just so I don't have to do it in this video to make it a bit shorter. So I'm going to do all that and we'll go from there. Okie dokie, so once I've done my ball cap, locked out my eyebrows, I went around the edge of my ball cap with about three layers of liquid latex just to get rid of the edge. And as I said, I've gone over my ears. So I'm going to start off on the bottom half of the face, and I'm going to use any old eyeliner or lip liner pencil. This is a brown uh, Clinique one, as long as it's smudgeable, like a cold one, so if you make a mistake, it's easy just to remove it um, or blend it out. Um, I'm going to use it just to start like tracing on the shape of the bone structure, just so I know where to place the teeth. Then I'm just going to go in with a black OCC lip liner, this is in Tarte, and I'm just going to use that to start just drawing on the shape of where the two teeth are going to meet. Then I'm just going to take an off-white colour, this is a watercolour by Superstar, which I think are actually a Illusion Magazine watercolour, which I've only recently discovered, they come in loads of different shades, it's really awesome. Um, but this is like a, like a peachy white, so it should hopefully come across a really nice bone colour. So I'm just going to use that just to paint a stripe on the top and bottom of this black line, just so I can start working on the teeth and then work outwards. Obviously if you wanted to, you could just paint your face with this straight away and then go in with all these lines. I just like doing it this way, just in case if I make any mistakes, it's easier to correct rather than having to smudge off all the makeup and reapplying the foundation, so yeah, it's up to you guys. Then I'm just going to take the same pencil and just start tracing on some shapes of the teeth. So the top set are obviously going to be a lot bigger than the bottom set, and the tops are slightly oval, but the bottom set, when it gets to the bottom, are going to be very pointed, but hopefully you'll see as I go. Then I'm just going to take some Grimace Black Cream, and I'm just going to take an angle brush, and just really, really lightly just blend from the line here slightly down over the bottom set of teeth so the top set look like they're obviously more forward than the back set yeah then i'm going to take some more of that off-white watercolor and just paint a bit more around the mouth then i'm going to take the black grimace cream which is 101 and a fairly rounded small brush and i'm going to use that to basically i'm just going to press in between every uh, every single tooth in the very middle without actually touching the tooth and just press really hard and then sweep the colour down so the colour sweeps off. I'm going to do the same with the top as well so it's going to be like a gradient so you should only have to go once down in the direction you want it to fade so don't go over it more than once otherwise you'll just have a line. Then on the top I'm just going to take some more of that black cream and I'm just going to go over it once more, but make it more of a V shape. I've done the bottom half already, so it starts smaller and then tapers out, but more into a V. So on the top, I'm going to have them join on ever so slightly. On the bottom, I don't want them to at all. I want them to be really separate, but it's the top set which need to fade off up. So the V, each tail of the V will join onto each line that I've got here. So then I can take my angle brush again and I'm going to use the black cream and on these two little lines that overlap here I'm going to take the cream, place it on top and then sweep the colour down on both sides so there's a gradient. So then whilst I'm in this area here I'm going to colour this entire area here and here in the black cream, just completely black. So 
So then I'm going to take some more of the white and paint a little bit more outwards. So as I said, it's a little bit more time consuming doing it this way rather than painting it first and then going over it. But as I said, it's a lot easier to clear things up if you make mistakes. So yeah, so I'm going to go up to about here, I think. Then again, just going to take the black and I'm just going to apply it just to the bottom area here and then sweep it up so there's a gradient underneath this whole area here. So then I'm going to take the black cream again and I'm going to go around this shape that I've got here without actually touching it. So I'm going to leave a very small gap in between this area here and then I can blend that colour upwards. So not a huge amount, just up to where the cheekbone is going to be. So maybe a centimetre from where you've drawn it. So just take the colour and then sweep it up once all the way along here. Then I can take the black cream again, most of this is going to be with the black cream now, and I'm just going to start shading in this area of the bone. So this whole area here and here need to be blended outwards. Okie dokie, and then I'm going to extend the colour again all the way up to about here. So I'm going to do my eye area last I think. So then I'm going to go back to my trusty brown Clinique eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to start drawing on the shape of the skull on top so I've got the temples and I'm just going to go off to a side so I can make my forehead look more prominent. Yeah but remember again these are just rough lines. And again I can take the black cream and I'm just going to start shading on the inside outwards so I need to leave this line on the inside completely clear so all out. So then I'm going to work on the eyes, so I'm going to use the same brown eyeliner again and I'm going to start sketching on the shape. So I'm going to make it very skull shape obviously, so it's going to be quite wide and it's going to have that little lip underneath. But I'm going to do it in an angrier expression as, as always, because I like doing an angrier makeup, I think it just looks more cool looking. Okay, so before I colour that in, I'm just going to do the same that I did underneath here. I'm going to join this line with the black cream all the way around and then around the bottom of the eyes and maybe a little bit in the middle and then blend the colour away from the eyes just so not so they meet up just so it fades out but there needs to be a really really fine line between all this so basically exactly the same as I've got here on the eyes. Then I'm switching over to Makeup Forever. This is their aqua cream colours. And I'm using the black to paint not my entire eye here. I'm just going to paint my eyelid underneath my ever so slightly and my waterline. Because then I'm going to switch over to the cream and blend it out. Just so it looks more sunken in. So then taking the black cream, I'm just going to fill in the top and the corners. But the outside edge, I want it to, the colour to taper off the, to the line that I've drawn just so it starts fading out. Then I'm going to take the black OCC liner and I'm just going to start tracing on some frow lines. So this is where it goes from like bones to actual wrinkles. Just something to give an emphasis on the eyes to make them look as angry as possible. So then I'm going to blend the bit here on my bridge of my nose downwards and this area here I need to blend outwards to make this area look fattier. So then taking the black cream I'm going to do the nose which whenever I do a skull I always do the same similar nose. I'm going to do it a tiny bit differently this time but I think the overall shape is going to be um, a little fox. Basically you'll see as I do it it's got two ears and a little nose it just looks like a little fox shape. So yeah so just going to start tracing it on with a really sharp sharp angle brush. So then, same again, I'm just going to take the black cream and a really sharp angle brush and it's going to go around the edge of some of this nose and then blend it outwards. So not the whole way around, just a little bit. Then I'm going to take a black watercolour, this is again by Superstar because the pigments are really good, and I'm going to use that to paint not all of my neck, I'm going to leave the middle part clear, but I'm going to paint my jawline and just around the back of my head here just so it's more like a floating head because I just want the spine to hold out which I'll paint in a bit. Then I'm just going to paint the middle part of my neck with the same off-white colour that I used on my face. Then I'm going to take the black cream and just start etching on the shape that I want for the spine. Then 
There we are. I kind of just rushed ahead there, but I just used the same black cream just to do these little ridges just to give something in the middle there to look like the head's being propped up by. So now I've done that, I'm going to take my trusty black hairspray and I'm just going to do, go once over this on like a halo on this section here, really at arm's distance in the ventilated area, obviously, or outside preferably. You just spray it once over just around there and it'll give a nice gradient and so just make it look a bit less clean, a bit more rustic. Okie dokie, so it's just a little bit subtle effect there, just looks like it's coming peer out of the shadows. Yeah. So then what's left me to do is pop in my contacts, my costume, and I'm done. And there we go. So I finished look off by popping in two black sclera lenses from eyesbright.com just so I don't have to have my eyes closed for the look to work. Um, I popped on my Jack costume, which I got a couple years ago when I did my previous um, Jack makeup. Um, I got it off Amazon, I think. Um, I popped on two uh, cartoony skeletony gloves, which I know probably don't necessarily go with the looks. A bit more cartoony, aren't they? But... Um, I know I don't like painting my hands for these tutorials really because it makes a mess on the keyboard and everything so I mean they're practical so it's up to you guys. Oh uh, yeah so that's my tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it please make sure to you know the usual rate, comment, subscribe and share it and all that jazz because it super helps me out and yeah so until next time. Bye guys.